You know, we really need to save and preserve small town theaters because they're part of the history and fabric of the community. Plus, they're never gonna build them like that again. So many of our local theaters have a rich and fascinating history. And the Penn Theater here in Plymouth is no exception. It was also unfortunately one of those theaters that was almost no more and had to be saved from the wrecking ball. And for that story, I sat down with the Penn's proud proprietors, Joe and Ellen Elliott. When you pull up in front of this theater and you see the amazing art, art deco design and the neon lights and everything, it's hard to believe that this place was ever destined for the wrecking ball, but it was, right? It was, it, actually at the end of 2003, uh, they closed for remodeling and um, stayed closed for almost two years. So wow. it, was, uh, it was very close to being gone. Well, when was it built? 1941. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. So the place opened uh, three days before the attack on Pearl Harbor. So oh, great all, this, timing. Yeah, all this money went in to build this beautiful theater and then that happens and everything changes in a minute. But it provided, and but it still provided having it open and that newness of it, provided an opportunity for the community to come together in a safe place where they could feel maybe just a little bit separated from all the bad things that were happening in the world. Yeah, it was an escape. It was an escape, that. and and you know, and that's the one thing is that it's always been a community gathering place. Because theaters like this, it's so neat to have a cool, funky you know, authentic theater right downtown. Because you guys do more than movies here, right? Yeah, we do. Um, we Once a year we host the uh, the Michigan Philharmonic and they come in and do their Christmas concert. That's why we have the staging out here. I was here. gonna say, that's a nice stage. Yeah, so it actually, it comes out even further for when they're here. So we, we do some of that. Um, we, we have um, a lecture series right now for uh, with the Plymouth Canton Community School District for a mental health series. And so we've got speakers in here and it's a combination of uh, public um, speakers and showing movies on that topic and we've got that goes on year-round. Not only do we provide entertainment but it's it's an economic change difference for the community. So oh, you're right in town. We right are right, right in yeah. town and then you can you can go to one of the restaurants you can shop. Um, it's all part of this complete package that makes Plymouth a really unique and special place and we're so happy to be able to have facilitated that to keep this for the community because a lot of times people they, they just I mean that phrase you know you don't know what you got till it's gone is really true um, and to have this be anything but what this is would just be tragic. Yeah. Well, you guys are, you guys are a T H E A T R E, right? We are R E S. Yeah. Good. That's. I like R E S better than yours. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it just <laughs> feels more historic and more. <laughs> it's just classy. Classy. Yeah. You know. One last question. Why does popcorn taste so much better at the theater? We can't tell you that. It's, it, it's a secret. Darn it. Don't ask Jim either, because he's part of the. He's part of he's, it. He can't he's tell part you of the either. theater guild now. We, we he can't. can't share. Jim can't tell you. <laughs> Teresa can't tell you because they know. You can really see and feel the history when you're in this iconic place, and the entire town of Plymouth couldn't be happier about it. Joe and Ellen have put so much passion, creativity, and energy into the Penn Theater, and it shows. Well, and speaking of shows, it's about to start, so grab some popcorn and join me. Oh, uh, and Jim, could you give me some raisinets? Oh, bonus.